Hello guys, welcome back to another video of Coding with Haya. So today I will show you how to code a two player tug of war game on Squatch. So let's begin. Go to the backdrops tab and hold your mouse pointer to uh, choose the backdrop button and click on choose. You can choose the backdrop of your choice. I will choose the blue sky. Delete backdrop 1 and go to the coding area. Hold your mouse pad on the choose button and click on choose. I would like to choose Ben. Delete the costume Ben B and Ben D. Go to Ben A costume and ungroup Ben's right hand. Now select its arm and thumb and press Ctrl C. Delete Ben A costume. Go to Ben C costume and press Ctrl Z and now group it. Delete the other, other hand and make the hand we pasted right now. Go to the back layer. Select both of the sleeves and click on flip horizontal. Hover your mouse pointer on the choose split button and click on choose. I'll choose Jordan. Undo the right hand and press Ctrl C. Delete all costumes except for costume C. Delete the old hand and control V. Move it to black layer and deselect everything and now press flip horizontal. I have a rope in my file so I will hover my mouse button on the choose spread button and click on upload. Here I am finished adding my rope. I will set the size to 44 and go to backdrops. Click on the rectangle tool. Set the color to black and drag it to the bottom center. Go to the row spread and set the X to 0 and the Y to negative 75. For both of the players, the Y will be negative 98 and the X will be 0. The X will be according to their position in the costume tab. Now let's start coding for Ben. For the events, a Ben green flat lid and a Ben space E plus and change it to letter D. Also, I want to make two new variables called score of Ben and score of Jardine. You can do it if you want. It's not necessary. Right click and press large read out on the variables. Also, drag this score right above them. The variables to set score to Ben, set score of Ben to zero blocks and change one of them to Jardine. And change score of Ben by 1 and run D key press. Now I'll do the exact same code for Jordine. Change score of Jordine by 1. From events, 1 space key pressed and change it to M. One green flag click from events, from motions, go to X and Y block. And also drag a go to X and Y block for Ben, player 1. I change X by 10 block and change it to negative 5 and run D key pressed. And another change X by 10 block and change it to 5. From controls, I wait to 1 second block and change it to 0 0.1. Change X by negative 1 on top and change X by 5 below. Drag that code to Jardine. And now go to Jardine's part. As you see, we have now forwarded the block and that is how you forward a block on scratch. Go to the rope spread, one green flag click from events, from motions I go to X and Y block, from looks I go to front layer block, from events to when space key press block, change it to M and D. From motions, change X by negative 5 and when D key press, and change it by 5 and when M key press. From controls, a forever and an if then loop. From operators and is equals to block and from sensing a timer on the left side and write 30.000 on the right. From controls, a stop all. From events, a broadcast message one block and make a new broadcast called end. Now let's make the end screen. Hold your mouse pointer to the choose to the choose spread button and click on pin. Hover your mouse button on the choose a backdrop button and click on choose. I'll choose the party backdrop. Go to backdrops and press Ctrl C and delete that backdrop. 
Go to the blank sprite you made and press Ctrl V. Now I'll show you how to create 3D text on Scratch. Of your own choice, I'll be choosing the Korean one. Click on the text tool and set the color to black. Click on the stage and write your text. I'll write you win. You can choose the words of your choice. Drag it in the middle and press Ctrl C and then Ctrl V. Change the color to white and also drag it in the middle. Click on the select tool and move the white text a little right. Also change the backdrop color to light gray. Hold shift while moving the white text to a little bit right so that you can get it in the exact straight line. Group the text and drag it in its center. But as this is a two player game, we can write you win. So I'll change it to wins. Who won the most winner on the choose costume button and click on choose. Add the costume Ben D and Jordan D. Copy Ben D and delete the costume. Press Ctrl V in the party backdrop and drag it on the left. Right click and press duplicate on the costume. This time delete Ben. Copy Jordan and delete that costume. Delete Ben on the second party costume and press Jordan instead. The remains one green flag left and when I receive end. Then looks a show block under when I receive end and hide under one green flag left. Separate the show block and from controls a forever and an if then loop. From operators greater than from variables score of Ben on left and score of Jordan on right. Drag the show inside the if then loop. Also, I switch costume to costume 1 because the costume 1 shows Ben winning. And also, right click and press duplicate on the when I receive end, and that's how you duplicate certain blocks on Scratch. Swap the variables score of Ben and score of Jordi and change the costume to costume 2. Also, I am sharing the project I am making so that if you have any problems, you can check the link of this project in the description below. I, and I am writing in the instructions, Ben is equals to D and Jordi is equals to M. Also, I would like to see the project my viewers made, so don't forget to give the links of your projects down in the comment section below. Let's look at our preview now. So we can see that the timer is not working, so let's head out to fix it. Go to the ropes bed and from looks a show block and a when green flag click and hide inside the if then loop. I'll just delete the forever loop, sorry for that I made you do it for no reason. When green flag click from events, from controls, wait one second and stop all. Change it from 1 second to 30 seconds, from looks hide and from events broadcast end. Go to variables and let's make a new variable called timer. From controls a forever loop and from variables a set timer to zero block and from sensing also a show variable timer on the zero under when green flag click and from sensing timer on the zero and a hide variable timer under broadcast end. And you must have noticed that sometimes it seems that one of the players is not even holding the and I know exactly how to fix. One green flag like from events, from controls, a forever and an if then loop. From sensing, a separate touching mouse pointer block and change it to rope. From operators, not and join it with the touching rope block. From motions, a change x button block and change it to 5. For what the block to draw green and change it to negative. Also, if any of the players touch this black color, I want the other player to win. So from controls, an if then loop. And from sensing, touching color and choose the black color. From events, broadcast end and from controls, stop all. I want to bend, but rather than broadcasting end, I broadcast Jordan. And for Jordan, I broadcast bend. Go to the wings bed, from events, where I receive bend and when I receive Jordan, switch costume to costume 1 under when I receive 1 and switch costume to costume 2 under when I receive Jordan. I'll change the color to red. Oh, I know what the problem. We didn't add the shoe block under when I receive 1 and when I receive Jordan. 
So go to the looks and add a show block on the when I receive and do the when I receive blocks. Go to the rope spirit and from the event when I receive Ben and when I see Jordan from looks high. Subscribe, like, share and ring the bell below so that you don't miss any of my cool videos. Bye bye and see you in my next video.